happy september 1st 2021 to god be the glory for yet another opportunity to experience his grace his loving kindness his joy his strength i tell you so many benefits serving the lord we are in a brand new trimester of this year actually the last one remember first trimester is from january to april the second trimester of a year is from may to august and then the final one is from september to december lord willing we plan to make this a wonderful one because we're going to serve the lord with all of our heart soul mind and strength yes we will we are in the first chapter of psalms Yes, and we know it starts out, blessed is the man or the woman that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. You're not taking advice from that person who doesn't follow the Lord and who doesn't live a life that is pleasing or at least attempting to, nor are you standing in the way of sinners. You're not following this crowd that's doing their own thing and not consulting or praying. Uh, and we're not sitting, we're not chilling out in the seat of the scornful. Those who mock the Lord or the things of God and make fun. Mm -mm. No, but what we have delight in is the word of God, the law of the Lord. And he or she shall meditate on it both the day, the rising of the sun, to the going down of the same at night. And because of that, the benefits... Just like these beautiful green trees that we will see will change in a few weeks. But in the meantime, we shall be like them, planted by the rivers of water. We hear the faucets going on, the fountains of water that are watering, that are replenishing the nature. Well, we shall be sustained and nurtured and nourished by the water, the living word, the spirit of God. And the benefits are that we shall bring forth much fruit. There should be product and produce and evidence in our life. We're just not talking, talking, but there's a walk and there's a walk that is aligned with the word of God and the people will be able to be changed by our life. Hmm? Yes. And we'll bring forth the fruit at the purpose perfect time at the proper time <laughs> yesterday's fruit was for that day for last month but this is a brand new season as far as going into September the closing months of the year but we still shall bring forth fruits that are pleasing and meet for repentance so that others will want to to walk in the ways of the Lord I'll be like, what must I do to have the peace, to have the blessed quietness that you have? Oh, yes. And also, our leaf shall not wither. We're going to have a lot of leaves in the ground. Oh, my goodness. Raking leaves. They're going to die. They're going to wither. But our leaves, our health shall be renewed day by day. The inner man, right, will be strengthened. Even though the outer man, woo, is perishing and changing. But we shall be like the eagle. Their youth is renewed day by day. We shall walk and not be weary. We shall well, walk and not faint and run and not be weary. Because we are replenished in the power of the Lord. Amen. And whatsoever we do shall prosper. I thank the Lord for the opportunity. Time we have just another chance to do God's will. We're, we have a chance to right some wrongs, maybe from yesterday, maybe from last week, but while we are breathing, we can do a do-over. We can have that. We have hope. The enemy wants us to be, oh, you did this. Oh, you're no good. Oh, you're a failure. You're a loser. No. You have the hope of God. You have the strength of God. Live for him. Another Another verse that coincides with this one that we went into is in Jeremiah 17, 7. Blessed is the man or woman that trusted in the Lord, not trust in man. They are fickle. Woman, child, they change their mind. They're unreliable. 
and whose hope is in the Lord. The promises in verse 8, for he or she shall again be like a tree that's planted by the waters and that spreadeth out their roots by the river and shall not see when heat cometh. They shall not realize when troubles and disaster, they will, they will witness it, but it won't touch them. Ah, what's that MC Hammer? You can't touch this. You can't touch my heart. That's why it's so important to guard your heart. Let the Lord be the keeper of your emotions, your soul, your heart, your mind, your body, so that the world can't touch you. And the leaf shall be green. It shall be healthy. Right? We will be strong in the Lord and the power of his mind. And we shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Who will just produce over and over. I know for the last few days I haven't been able to post because of technical difficulties. So we would have gone to, I think, Psalms 35 and Psalms 36. Just know that the Lord is with us and we will give thanks in the great congregation. That's in Psalms 35, 18. And he will give us quiet in the land no matter what happens. And that's in verse 20 of Psalm 35. Thank you, Father, that you have allowed us to see a brand new trimester of the year. Oh God, we thank you that you're gonna keep us healthy, strong, hopeful, trusting in you, oh God. We don't know what the future holds, but you do, and you have plans for us. Father, we thank you for another opportunity to live for you. Oh God, we will let our roots still be nourished by your word, by your spirit, and we'll walk it out and there will be much fruit because of you. Thank you, Father, for this opportunity. We give you all the praise, honor, and glory for this day. In Jesus' name, amen.